as soon as they have completed the task and we add in the reward. And then we also can do it with correction as well. Correction works faster and it has a tendency to do, you all right? I wasn't videotaping, oh, I accidentally. Oh, start, we'll just go ahead and start. I, I do. It doesn't matter, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get what we can get and it'll, it'll be fine. So, um, uh, negatives to speed up an exercise will work faster, mm -hmm. but they won't work forever. Yeah. So you can't always use them. I mean, eventually every, uh, every dog gets <coughs> sensitized to that. And so we need to kind of balance that out. Um, but with him, speed is not super important. It's only important in the fact that when I ask you to do something, you need to be doing it. Yeah. It doesn't need to be a discussion at all. You just need to do it. Mm -hmm. Moose. Good boy. Moose. So if, if there's down one count and then the correction happens, then it'll get to the point to where he's like, okay, I have one, I have but one second to, to start getting down. You know, now if he's starting to get down and he's making the motion in that direction and as soon as you say it, he slowly lays down, that's not the end of the world and we can, we can deal with that, but um, we don't want it to be like, I'm not sure I'm going to. Yeah. And we don't want that kind of thing. It's I say it and then if if I don't get a if I don't get some sort of a response from you inside of the second that I say it, then we're gonna go ahead and go on to the, the directional correction. And that's where I like using the collar just as much as I like using the e-collar. Um, now the e-collar eventually becomes more convenient, but this one is directional. Yeah. And and so whenever we have directional corrections, that's always good. Walk. So again, I'm always going to do that thing where you know, whenever I say walk, I'm going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what we do too, and it definitely helps. So one command. He he did the sit portion of it, which yeah. I don't care. Like a lot of trainers will get fussy about like no, whenever you tell them to down, they need to down front legs first and then butt and. Forget it. Like that's that's great if you're doing competition. If you're not doing competition, it's completely and totally useless. It's fine to do that. But in this situation, he actually did just sit mm -hmm. instead that's of down. That's one of the where he's been struggling, like with right. the down. Is I'll say down, he'll sit, and I'm like, no. Yeah. So so we're gonna we're gonna make it. What we want to do is we want to use this big old fat front brain that he's got because yeah. he is a smart dog. Oh, he's super that's smart. why he can yeah. give you trouble is because he's smart. Um, and we want to start setting ourselves up to where we are asking him questions and we're expecting the right answer and there's a hundred percent consequence now this is during our working sessions this is while we're sharpening ourselves and sharpening all the exercise so walk. so i say walk and i move always because that means that he because the walk is not even a command it's a warning i'm about to do this and this is how you keep yourself comfortable yeah. while i'm moving Oh yeah, our walking's yeah. been great, thankfully. He hasn't, right. I mean, he hasn't been pulling too far. Sit. The only time he pulls forward is because he's had that whole person thing going on here mm -hmm. lately. Like, yeah. oh, human, pet me. You know what I mean? Right. I and so I would not be letting anybody pet him. Oh no, I haven't. Like been. really, yeah. at all, I, I wouldn't let anybody pet him. He, they, they, he can get pets in the living room. Yep. And, um, and, and other than that, he's just working. Oh no, if he's not in the house, he doesn't. He's not allowed the attention, which maybe sounds mean, but we we cut no, all it, off of. We don't even give him much attention ourselves. Yeah, when we so have it's not. So we, it's not a matter of. Uh, it, yeah, it's not a matter of. We don't want him to be satisfied in yeah. that in that reason, you know, in that way. But Lexi. Uh, we, we want to make sure that he's satisfied in, in that facet of his life. Mm -hmm. We just need to teach him where to go get it. Yeah. You know, so all of those things as leaders, we want to make sure that we, we, we satisfy those things. Exercise, mental stimulation, physical affection, uh, things of that nature. Uh, food, water. You know, but um, we, we want it, you know, we want it to, we'll keep it on. Um, we want him to be able to know where to get it. You don't know, get the you don't get the water out of the toilet. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you get it oh, out yeah, of your bowl. Know, yeah. You know, He's you don't get, really good you don't get the water off of the oily street. Mm -hmm. You get it, you get it out of your bowl or out of whatever sort of device that we have to to water you during the walk or something like that. Which yeah. of course dogs don't always need water by the end of the walk. Yeah. They should get some at the end of it. Yeah. Just to re refuel, but you know, mm -hmm. in, in the wild the dog will walk. In the wild, the dog will go 
yeah. a full day without water. And then yeah. they'll drink a ton. Yep. And then it'll That's how saturate. he is. He's like, I'm not worried about it. And then he'll just yeah. drink gallons, like a gallon of water. <laughs> That's and, and that's and that's actually not not a problem. Yeah. Like our, our bodies, dogs' bodies mm -hmm. are are built to fast and feast. Mm -hmm. You know, and yeah. it's actually even healthier to do that. It, oh, the yeah. constant eating is actually worse than. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> that's what we've switched to. He gets his food in the morning. He gets his drink in the morning. He gets all that. You know, and then he's done with the day. I personally so, also like to like to think about it in this these terms is like I want my dogs to be tough. If my dog gets to be such a pampered dog oh, yeah. that they that they have access to food all day every day, and then if they get a little bit little bit hungry because it's been like a whole hour and a half since they've had to nibble, then that lowers their ability to perform the work in the moments that we need them. So we train for we train for worst case scenario. So like my dogs eat once a day, which is actually really healthy, um, and um, they do, you know they tend to have access to water at home, but when we go out. I mean, we'll, we'll get water if I can see them having physical yeah. issues. But other than that, uh, other than that, it's just like no, we'll, we'll take a we'll, we'll we'll take a second and uh, we'll take a second and take a break when it when it's necessary. But if it's not necessary, we're just going to get done with our day and then we'll go back home and refuel. So that's where we rest. That's where we eat. Anyway, all of these things I know we've talked about. So, so um, we we want to do little short sessions of sharpness at home with distraction and then those things the distraction becomes bigger outside luckily you have a nice distracting oh yeah life the, the funny Here, thing is it's sit, not that whenever we go to the sit, store he's not too distracted sit, it's just whenever sit. people the, this is where we struggle as people have this habit of being like oh what a cute puppy oh what a cute and then he's gone so that's where, that's where our problem, she's like, oh, human. And I'm like, no, I need you to stay where you're at and keep your cool. Right. Yeah. No touch, no talk, no eye contact. Huh? No touch, no talk, no eye contact. Yeah, that's, and that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's plagiarism at this point. Uh, yeah, um, but, but you're absolutely right. Um, that That's the way that we should be introducing. But, so I prep the dog. I mean, like, you'll see a lot of times I'll, whenever we're out doing a walk or something like that, I will be moving around and say, oh my gosh, you nope, sit. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and okay. so I'll throw them down. Yeah, and then I'll throw them down and then I'll, then I'll, I will mimic what I know other people are going to do. Yeah. So like, oh, it's a puppy. You know, and, and then, good boy. Yeah. And, and and then whenever he does it right, then then they do it right. Yeah, I don't want him to Pretty. drag his tail and stuff. That's totally fine. I just don't want the whole up and be like oh, pet me thing because that's not. So we can, we can what what we'll do is we'll use other people's help mm -hmm. to reinforce that whole thing. This is like we'll be walking around and then somebody will say, we'll do the oh, what a, what a beautiful puppy dog, you know, uh, thing, and we will expect ah! continuous attention mm -hmm. and. and and the more that he gets exposed to the distraction, the less it'll mean to him. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I tell people all the time, it's like the first first night in Iraq, got really nervous about all the machine guns going on, you know, all the 50 cals going off at the wall and everything. Two weeks in, I slept through it, no problem. Not a big deal at all. Because you just get desensitized to it. Mm -hmm. You know, so if you have something that is hard to deal with, then you just, you just expose yourself to it a lot. Now you want to expose it in you want to expose it in the amounts that you can handle. But we still do. And then we keep really solid positive or positive negative correlation between what how, how they perform. Now, good boy. And so I would focus on on and off time. Off time. All we're doing is just don't do anything wrong. We're yeah. correcting for things that are done wrong. Mm -hmm. And you, with him, I mean, like, this is a, he's a moose, you oh, know? Yeah. Like, <laughs> you guys named him that for a reason. This dog is, this dog is not, is not a, uh, a delicate little, oh, no. little dude Luke around. comes up to him and full-blown headbutts him, and he's like, okay, just let me know when you're done. Like, he's right. a great dog. He's, he's perfect for it. He's a perfect service dog. But, he's so yeah, but we, but we want to, we want to, we don't want to, we don't want to be 
acknowledging the fact that he's tough in the moments that the kids mm -hmm. are, are being themselves around him, and then de and then not acknowledge the fact that he's tough whenever it comes time for us to to cause him discipline. Mm -hmm. Because if, if he because he needs he needs to know that we're the bigger, the stronger, the you know the the tougher, the more uh, competent, <laughs> and all of those things. This is very important. It's actually important for him as well. It's important for his peace of mind. Because if he feels like he's the yeah. biggest, toughest, yeah. everything like that, then that's when things like nipping happens. Yeah. That's when things like protective behavior happens. Because if he thinks that he is the last resort between us and chaos, then he will start protecting us from chaos. Mm -hmm. And that's where all sorts of really bad behaviors start to come in. And that's where things end up falling apart. It's the moment that the rage comes out. Right. And he's like, nope. Right. <laughs> so we've been we've been working on it really hard. And he does amazing with Luke. Like Luke has a rough time. He'll go lay by Luke. Luke will lay over him and scream and cry, whatever. He just lays there. He because what Luke needs is someone there in the moment. And that's exactly what he does. Nope, he's no. there in the moment. He fulfills nope, what he no. needs. And Alexia's the same way. She just needs him there in the moment. Mm -hmm. But he's like, mm -mm, there's too much anger. But I'm, I'm assuming, because she is very ragey. Yeah. She's very self-inflicting. And it's a self-inflicting. Once the self-inflicting kicks in, mm -hmm. well, she's the same way, but she's just really hard. Right. You know, so that's Alexia. That's whenever we... Okay. So yeah, she he does amazing for her any other time. But all of them. He's even getting to where he casts on him a little bit whenever he's upset. Right. <laughs> right. So well, I'm at this point where I'm like, I just need you to do it. <laughs> right. Is there is there a possibility of is there a possibility of him getting to spend individual time with anybody? Is there a way that they could be separated um, to where he would have the time to spend? You know, I mean, like, and of course, we don't want to try to cause her to trigger yeah. Oh, yeah. you know to, to have an incident mm -hmm. but there are going to be certain circumstances where we oh. doing what we know we have to do mm -hmm. you know in like containing her somewhere or uh, that is like more than likely to cause a trigger anyway yeah. and then then we can have the separation to where mm -hmm. he can have basically just her to worry about for a second um, um well nine times out of ten the two of them nap so she does get time what? by himself and he does Fine. great with her in that time and everything and like he enjoys being with her like because right. she likes to cuddle him and he loves it you know what i mean but um but whenever it comes to her meltdowns nine times out of ten if he's she's melting down they're all right. going off so, so he'd probably rather go to luke and like yeah and, and you would and rather look back <laughs> well, right. well, I mean, you can't blame him, and and so we, we don't. Alexia. But at, at at those at those moments, we're gonna have to figure figure something out. Now, how do you guys do? Do you guys use the do you guys use the harness and tether uh, at, at all in the house? Um, not so much in the house. So um, we've taken him for walks with them mm -hmm. before, and he does amazing with Alex. The funny thing is, is Alexia is the one he does the best with on the right. show, which is great because she's the one that actually needs it. Right. Um. Does she but, does she have a tendency to melt down more or less whenever she's done? More. More. Yeah. Okay. Well, so do you want to tether? Yeah, I would. Well, what I would say is, is that we. Yeah, let's do that now. And because then, I know it sounds horrible and probably gonna hear this on the plot, whatever. But um. Well, but they, but they can come talk to me about it. And all triggering all. her is sometimes it's like whenever you're having a seizure and you're trying to figure out what the cause of the seizure is, you have to trigger it. Right. So and it's the same with meltdowns with autism. You have to figure out what the trigger is, and it is a trigger. Mm -hmm. And that's gonna help him do his job just like any other service dog. Right. Make, make so sure so that would be a double that would be a double desensitizing situation yeah. in my in. My, my, in my deal is because yes she will trigger nope she will no you can't have it no I'll just sit on it no, at first she enjoys it because she likes the pressure of it but once you start walking then yeah. she's like well you've seen her in the store you know once he starts walking with her he's like she's like no wait I'm going to do my own thing right. you know because she wants to go one way and he wants to go the other and... right so um, yes. 
So I would say that I would make it nearly at least a daily exercise where okay. where she goes the, the two of them go through a period of time that um, a period of time that they spend <laughs> they spend tethered daily. Okay. Um you can do that. I still have not found uh, it's impossible. the bungee thing. Yeah. No, I've even looked here recently and I'm like, they're just not existing. Free. 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 Do you see him? Yes, he's like, no, they're not existing. Oh, it's funny. He was like half on the floor. He does that a lot. Like, you want to go see Luke? He'll hook so, you up. So it'll be, it'll be equally as important, though, today. Or in the house, that um, it'd be equally as important that the things that we ask him to do whenever he's got his vest on must be important. You know, because yeah. we, we still want we still want uh, all the <laughs> I've got two leaners. We've got all of the. Um, yeah, he instantly downs with her. It's like which I'm happy about. I'm really happy yeah. about. So. Yeah. yeah. And it, as much slack as we can give her, mm -hmm. the better. Because I mean, obviously she's she's got to be able to move around, and if we, we're, it might be good boy. So yeah, first she really he yeah she's great practice for him for the down. So he's pretty well matched with it. Right. You know he's and he's great. Like you can walk away from him in the store, mm -hmm. he does amazing. Right. As long as no one comes up and tells him he's good. Right. <laughs> and then he's like, so, I have to go see you. And so, so we, yeah. There is again still no right and wrong in dog yeah. training. Oh yeah. There's what works and what doesn't. Mm -hmm. There, I mean, there's plenty of things that are wrong. Oh yeah. But the most right thing is always the thing that works. Good boy. Mm -hmm. So. Um, if somebody telling him that he's good is is going to be a thing that, uh, that causes him to break, then still correct, just the same afterwards. I mean, especially when we're prepping, when we're preparing for these things, is make the con make the consequence immediate, sharp, not necessarily hard. Yeah. It's, not, it's, not the, it's not the effort of making it as harsh as it needs to be, but it needs to be very abrupt. And matter of fact, because matter of fact is always the right answer whenever it comes to dog training. It's like we're not having any sort of emotions about it. I'm not upset with you. Um, I'm not really even that happy with you because you're doing the thing that you're doing. It's just like, no, you're good dog. Yeah, that's that's good. It's just a marker. Mm -hmm. That's what I want. That's what I want. That's what I want. This is what I don't want. This is what I don't want. This is what I don't want. I'm very unemotional about it because that when we add the emotion and we actually make it more difficult. And um, and then we can save the emotion for the after party, essentially. Mm -hmm. You know, um, at least the positive emotion, because you don't ever correct after the fact. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, the positive emotion is is a good thing to save for after. So this is doing two things. Number one, it's going to get her to the point where she is less sensitive to it, mm -hmm. theoretically. Yeah. And yeah, it is also it is also would. going to be a, 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 an instant a, a period of time each day where he is on the job, and I would make sure that that happens at least every at least I mean, and it could be make it an hour a day. Okay. Doesn't necessarily have to be a straight hour, mm -hmm. but sometimes make it a straight hour. Yeah. For two reasons: number one, for his uh, endurance, you know, like for his endurance in the exercise. And number two, for your convenience. Because if, if every day you have to do four 15-minute sessions in every day, it's going to wear you out mentally. Mm -hmm. oh, and, yeah. and, and this is a dog that's meant to make your life easy. Mm -hmm. So we just go ahead and do that. Yeah, she um, definitely enjoys it at first because she definitely gets the pressure, pressure sensory in. But once her sensory is fulfilled, then she's like, okay, I'm done. Let me go. Right. Nope. I'm the best. So, again, the, the, the situation mm -hmm. that... Uh, that, that you know there was a distraction. Alexia, no, thank you. Good, but I just said no. But it wasn't. There was nothing much to it. Mm -hmm. It was just a marker. It was just a. It was just a one and a, you know they're ones and zeros. And if you keep giving the dog ones whenever it's time, whenever he's doing things right, and zeros when he's doing things wrong, and there's no, there's nothing, there's no more emotion than the computer gives. Then that's, then that's going to be a good thing because then they just figure it out. And they also are not. What? The process is not hijacked. You're a good boy. Yeah, that's very good. Yeah, he will roll in the way he has to. Come. That's good. So, 
Uh, oh. and, and, and whatever your reward is, like a lot of times, whenever I'm teaching a dog, a lot of times I will, I will do a pet, 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 yeah. you know, and I'll get myself in the habit. I actually learned to do that when working with aggressive dogs, because you got a dog that's muzzled, that doesn't want your treats, that doesn't want your pets. You still have to give them some sort of signal that they did the right thing, and you'll have a dog that will be very agitated by you petting them for five or six days before they get over it and realize that, you know, like, this is a good thing that he's petting me. And I don't like it, but it's, it's acknowledged. And so that's the kind of thing that we, uh, I, I like to do is I like to come up with a, a very routine uh, type of uh, type of reward that's not super big. Yeah. And then and then I I can do that. Axel, you got, please you got sharp nails and strong hands. You know that? Oh yeah, I mean you can put those things every day. Right. Just don't, just don't. So, yeah, definitely. This, I'm assuming this will give you, that you're adjusting to the game. Yeah, this this will get um this will get it's only by now she'd be triggered. Right. So I think she's also. I'm sorry. No, I fine. thought maybe she triggered. No, Hi. It, it's perfectly fine, and. uh but yeah, she definitely, she's very strong. Right. And that's she's almost 40 on, pounds. She's given up on her pressure, her pressure stuff yeah. way quicker than last time. Well, we've also been working on her also. So that yeah. might be why no, she's I'm, not, absolutely. you know. Well, I mean, and that's one of those things that, yeah, we, we want to, we want to be, we want to see how the dog needs to do it. But at the same point, we're also going to be very happy whenever yeah, things are just works. in generally yeah. going the right direction. So Hi, you, sister. You, now you can, you could totally... I mean, it's going to happen. She's going to have a oh, yeah. And when she does, leave him tethered. Mm -hmm. now, it, it, now, I uh, he doesn't ever do that mouthy oh, type no. of thing to her. He only does that to me. Okay. It's only, which I don't know why. But. Well, um, it, it probably, well, he's going to look at you differently. Mm -hmm. It's like, and, and I don't want him to look at you in the kind of way that, that he feels like he gets to backstalk you. Because that's all he's really doing. It's like, I don't think he's really trying to nip at anybody. He's just give, he's just giving a dog language of like, oh, I don't want to. You know, and yeah. they're like, I'm upset about this. You know, uh, like, I'd, I'd rather not. But um, I don't think that, I mean, because he's never, he's never actually like really... He's only bit bit me once, and that was a couple of days ago. Right. Um, and about. we were tra we were doing a training for her. We were doing the aggravated right. thing, the angry thing, like where I'll kind of bang my head on, not literally, but you know, I'd be banging my head towards the ground, screaming and stuff. He would do his thing where he slid under, and I was like, oh, good boy. And I crawled away, and I went to do it again. Mm -hmm. And he came up behind me, and he nipped me on the back of the arm. And I'm like... But it was like that kind of... Yeah, he didn't like fight fight, but he like yeah. nipped me really good, and I was like, hey. Yeah, I mean, and I, I still, I would correct that just as hard yeah. as you want to. I mean, yeah. honestly, that's mm -hmm. the. Because it hurts. I that, that, to that's kids, that's one know? of them. That's one of those situations where if our temper does get out of hand, mm -hmm. that we accept that that's okay. Yeah. With, with nipping, biting, mm -hmm. pooping on the floor, trash cans, mm -hmm. those type of avoidance corrections, um, we don't want our temper to get out. And it's better if it doesn't. But if it does, you just say, I'm going to work harder for that not to happen. Because when you're doing avoidance corrections, it's okay for them to get their feelings hurt. You know? And, and then, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll probably I'll probably have a, have a uh, whole bunch of people knocking at my door one of these days when I start hearing my skills. But I don't care. You know? Because the, the fact of the matter is, is that we, we don't all deserve to have our feelings not hurt all day long. Oh, yeah. It, it happens. Life is going to hurt your feelings sometimes. I would, much rather, I would much rather he understand how to prevent life from hurting your feelings mm -hmm. because of his actions Hi. than be completely oh, ignorant on it because everything is always going to be nice and gentle. On him. You know? Because he's a big tough dog. He can yeah. do... He... he he is actually becoming more satisfied with this extra stimulation. Even though it's super annoying, I'm sure it is. But he's doing it, and he's also he's also uh, what's the phrase? but he's keen on the idea of like I, I like the fact that this is difficult, and he is pleased with me. That makes me feel good. It gives me ser serotonin. It makes me that's an antidepressant. A job like this keeps you. Keeps you from, uh, from getting depressed. Because I remember when I really first started this, he was all ears down, tail tucked, almost like I had a whimper, and now his tail kind of wags. Like, hey, I'm doing it right. You know what I mean? So that's. 
It's nice to see him definitely adjust well and be like, I'm okay. So he does, like I said, he does great whenever we go out. And, you know what I mean? If we do pay him, he does do really well. That's good. Um, we're just still working on that human avoidance, I guess you would say. Right. But, um, but how, how often do you take him this time? So? We haven't taken him this time. Yeah. Oh, right. him. So, I, yeah, idea. like if, for human avoidance? That's that's where I would work on human avoidance. Is I would go, I lay this vest on. He can keep, he can keep his vest on for us. Um, yeah. Oh, I have. Okay, good. There have been times where so like, I'll not... pick it up and be like, ooh, and I'll pet him with it. He goes, oh, okay, it's not scary. Yeah. You know, just so we don't get that like fear of the stick. Yeah. The stick is just an, an extension of your of your own energy, yeah. so he can he can have rewards for that. Mm-hmm. And this would be a good way for him to have that sort of. Home, but constant reward mm-hmm. is that we can go ahead and do this and this tells them that hey yeah, like I am happy with what you're doing but I'm not okay. adding a ton of energy to this situation. Are you getting annoyed? Is that getting uncomfortable? Because we did trigger, we did create a, 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 a connection in his brain between the word good and dopamine. Mm-hmm. Dopamine is an action causing thing. Oh here we go. That's where that's good. Mm-hmm. Alright she does it great. So here's another question, and this is a this is a potential. This is just figuring oh, out. Hey, hey, don't stop. There you go. Yeah. Well, See, this is me. This isn't her. Right. You know. No, I, I get that. Um, so um, here's the next question. When she starts having, whenever she starts melting down and everything like that, you said that he does have a tendency to want to exit the situation. Okay, he'll probably do his walk. So, if it's open. Like, so, we have to leave a so how would it turn out if she's having a meltdown and he tries to exit the situation and she goes red? Do you think that would interrupt? Well, I him? followed him with her before and he runs. He did. He like, well, no, no, no. I'm saying does it interrupt the meltdown? Um, no, she just makes it worse because then I have to move her from wherever she's at to wherever he is. Okay. Because it's harder to move him than it is to move her. Right. Like, he's a steel fortress, and that's a good lie. So, like, you go to pick him up, and he's like, I'm not Come. doing that. Come. So if, if, if something gentle like that, um, okay. if something gentle like that, like him just coming over and sitting next to her, even if he doesn't have to look at her, you know, if, he, you know, if, he, if he's going, if he's like, okay, this is my spot, I'm going to sit right here. And, but you saw that, that he came above her, she was on her back in this situation, so she's looking up, and he came and sat above her, and she was just about to melt, yeah. and then she caught a glimpse of the dog and she stopped. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Right. Yeah, she oh, likes it. Oh, yeah. No, we. That's good. Kisses. Kisses. Two kisses. Two kisses. That's. Can you give her a kiss? Big kiss. Moose. Can you give her a kiss? Big kiss. Big kiss. Moose, give a kiss. Can you give a kiss? And so, when, in the event that it does work out and we get it to happen and everything, like that's where we're going to add energy in the situation. Because we want him to have that positive association with him. We want to have that positive energy with him. Um, so... Yeah, you she can, definitely, she definitely likes him. She likes him being there during her meltdown. Like, so even if he would just come down and lay next to her and sniff her, 
I right. think it would help. But it, or at least make some kind of connection between, mm -hmm. some kind of connection. You yeah. know what I mean? Is what she needs. Really? And that's, yeah, even if it's just a, I mean, like the other day she was melting down and I got him to put his, his, uh, his leg over mm -hmm. hers. And she was like, <gasps> okay, this is okay. Yeah. You know, but it was once. And now, and I was like, Oh, it's such a good boy. Right. You know what I mean? We were super excited. And he was like, yeah, I'm doing this right. right. Yeah, he won't do it again. So, <laughs> so he was like, I don't know. But she's also a kicker. So I don't know if that has something to do with it or, you know. Mm -hmm. But he did it pretty well to get her to quit kicking it. And right. It worked. And I was like, well, see, now if you did this more often, mm -hmm. wouldn't it help you? <laughs> you know? right. like, and this is your job. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, but... Let's uh let's see if let's see if he'll walk walk around and kind of pull her a little bit. Would you please stop? Can I have this? Oh yeah, he'll even walk with her. Like if you put that on him and she walks, like he walks with her and everything. Like I have this. Yeah. I know. All right, thank you. All right. Walk. Thank you. Oh. From the from the self destructiveness mm -hmm. yeah. and turning away. Mm -hmm. so you know what I'm saying? If she if he would just come to her and just even if it's not even a lick, just a general connection. Even if it's just like an emotional one for him, like yeah. the general connection of him mm -hmm. helps her. So I know he would be such great help if he could just right. you know if he would just make the connection himself. Right. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. That's a good dog. If you need to praise him for just being in the vicinity. Mm -hmm. That's fine too. Um, so, so we, we just want to encourage. What, what's up? You got the puppy? You got the puppy. That's a very puppy. You tell him you're his puppy. Yeah, you're a good boy. That's right. It you might even you might even add to the situation by petting him with her. Yeah, we do that. Okay. And it helps. All right, good. And he's like, okay, well, I'm going to be Yeah, because you can see him, <laughs> you know? because the panting is is a, I'm getting rid of the anxiousness. Mm -hmm. It's like I'm, I, I'm coming down from the anxiety that, that I was that I was feeling before. So that, that's what you can tell whenever you see panting, is it's not that we're calm yet, but I'm calming. Mm -hmm. um, and so you, you can you can use that as a signal. Let's pet the puppy. Let's pet nose. Are you done, well, sister? We're not taking it. We take it off the minute. Yeah. Can we do one more? That's really cool. Oh. Oh. <laughs> trying to get him to go into a big one. But repetitions where we kind of set her off a little bit, we pull her around until it frustrates her, and then she starts to go, and then we calmly get him right back into the thing. And that's that's a matter of nerve. Don't bite yourself. No. Oh, thank you. No. Like 
So the, these minor ones, which I mean, I, I, I mean, I, I suppose. It's, yeah, these these minor ones having with more frequency is probably going to give him. Yeah, we should probably go ahead and help her. Yeah, she's about to go into a big one. <laughs> is, We're on the verge. No, that's fine. That's fine. But what I'm saying is, is if we could get whatever the threshold is, is like because I'm not yeah. trying to say what the threshold should yeah. be. I'm just trying to say that if we can. The better. Oh my goodness! You want to get hooked up? Want to see more? You want to get hooked up? You do? All right, cool. Let's see. All right. Really good for the job, buddy. You do that. Yeah, I mean, and, and feel free to separate with. Yeah. Here, 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 here. You okay? Feel free to separate. You know, and get him all of his time. You're getting bigger, buddy. Oh yeah, you might have a loose it. Yeah, we gotta loosen it. Come on. I know. I'm I know. I'm gonna fix it for you. I gotta, I gotta get it bigger. You should get, be a big boy. Yeah. Good boy. What's he got? This little uh, emblem right here makes it difficult. Oh, here, I can help you. I'm gonna use it. You might have to. And what's can you come here for just a second? Sit. So, yeah, what, whatever the threshold happens to be, Come here, Luke. we don't. We're, we're, the idea is, is, is we Luke. we get the if we can get the triggers to happen in a, in the smallest way possible, Come and on, get buddy. him to receive the smallest amount of it, and and actually go and be a part of it as opposed to running off. What do you got? You want my stick? Hey Luke. Go get him. No, nope. you know what to do. Go get Luke. Go get him. 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 There you go. Good job. Good job. You don't want to do it anymore? What happened? Go ahead and hook him up anyways. That way he'll probably come through. You know what I mean? He, he doesn't he doesn't really get frustrated as well. Oh no. Mm -mm. No, get off. Get off. Moose come. Off. You see what I mean? Like yeah. oh, oh, that was my bad. Owie. Owie is right. <laughs> Let's stand back up. You're a big tough boy though, aren't you? Man? Losing your britches. Comes, comes with the name. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You and then just give him some more time. But that way he gets he gets about an hour a day. Preferably as much of it as Lexi can be a part of is better. As much as she can handle. Oh goodness. Most. Oh yeah, I know. You don't like it. Can you pet the dog? And I'll take it off. Hey, if you pet the dog, I'll take it off. No, I know. We get it. Pet the dog first. You can do it. Pet moose. You pet moose. You get the chance. Pet moose. Can you pet moose? Pet moose. Okay. Good job, buddy. Here you go. Let me take it off. There you go. There you go. Good job, buddy. All right. So you see, you see that connection with the timing, yeah, and 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 the intensity. Like he did something, and he got he got a little bit of it right, and uh -huh. we, we make a big deal about yeah. it. And it, it was, and it very much works the same. Mm -hmm. The nice thing is with Luke, though, he's gotten to the point to where he knows Moose will fulfill for him. So Moose doesn't even always have to come to him. About I want to say about three fourths of the time, Moose just goes to him because he knows that. And that He's works. going to do what he needs. And that works fine. And as long as Moose doesn't run nope. away from him, then... then... Nope. He lays down. He does. Sometimes he does this. 
thing because he's like, this is what I want right now, but I'll well, do I mean, it. That's <laughs> even a better sign if he's saying, I recognize that I have to do this and I don't want to, no. but I'm going to anyway. No. So now, now would be a situation that. Are you after, okay? Yeah, it's a pinch a little bit. After he, after he has, uh, no. after he has done some work, then he can either be freed up completely. And it's, Stop asking of him. We still enforce all the things they can't do. Mm -hmm. You know, all of his nose. We we enforce that. But this is where we this is where we can play with you him. Want if, your he, piggy. if he feels like he it, you know, if you can tell that he's still he was just stressed, now we finish the exercise <coughs> off with something positive. No, no, down. No. Oof. Thank you. Oof. Um we we finish it off with whatever it is that you think he needs the most. If, he, if he's needing that social interaction, Blech. the praise, approval type of thing, the playfulness, mm -hmm. then we reward with that. If he's if he's to the point where he's exhausted because it's been a long session or something like that, then it might be yeah. good to put him in his put him in his bed and let him decompress yeah. as well, so that he doesn't get too um, stressed. One thing can we work on real quick before you sure. leave? Um, can you sit down with him and get him to quit? To get to quit pawing you? He has this issue with pawing the crap out of me. And I'm like, I can whack him with my stick. And he's like, eh. You know? Right. But the moment you stand up. Oh, yeah, no, the moment I stand up, he instantly stops. He's got the uh, charge. Yeah. Time to get shocking. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. This bar collar isn't working. Even though it's on. The bar function on the mm -hmm. collar? Are you thinking that maybe, maybe, yeah, that there's something, something up with, uh, I don't know because like we have it, I mean, we don't have it super high, but we have it turned up, but, um, but he can bark and I don't know if he's just gotten to where he's just unfazed, but I don't know. Well, like you can have it up to a five and shock him and he's like, meh, whatever. So, you know what I mean? Well, if it's not, so I wonder if it's just not high enough. I mean, he's he's not barking much though, right? No, I mean he barks at people. So yeah. like if we have him outside with his e collar on, he'll bark and bark and bark sometimes. Kind of like I'll have to do the whole thing to get him done. Well, I mean, I would turn it up, like oh, turn it okay. up to seven or something like okay. that. Because what, because with him, we're doing less of bark limiting and more of bark extinguishing. Now, we don't want it to be so high that it causes him, uh, like, it, it adds energy in a negative way to the situation where it's harder for him to behave. We just want it to be, oh, yeah, that's, uh, don't want that to happen. You know, we want it to be enough to stop it, but not so much that it causes him to, causes him to, like, maybe run away or something like that. By that time, it, it gets to be too much. So. Isn't there isn't there a setting that you have on the bar car where it pops him and it slowly by slowly goes down? So both of these collars have that. Um, they they have an automatic uh, level adjustment to where it will it will give it the lowest amount necessary. But with with him especially and with my dogs as well, since they're both they we want them both to be kind of on par as far as training is concerned. Um, Now see, we can get him here, and this doesn't bother me. That whole, if his legs are on anything, doesn't bother me. But like, he'll do it, go, watch, he'll do it here in a second. Nope. Nope. But like, he'll do this thing where he'll go on me mm -hmm. until yeah. I pet him or something. And I'm like, no, yeah. that's not how it works. You get pet when I say you get pet, nope. not when. <laughs> not when you want to get oh, pet. Yeah. Have you ever thought about giving him this? So, he, I mean, he might not want to do it anymore if he has his pig. Oh, no. He, he just does it whenever he wants attention. Like, sometimes he's like, you know, pet me because I said so. Right. <laughs> so, what I've done just now. No, you, uh, I, oh. uh, I want you to stay oh, there. Okay. What I've done just now is, is I created a direct connection mm -hmm. between every second that he's touching you, I'm holding the continuous. So, 
like around like six. Okay. This is not super hot, but it's enough for him to have gone. Dang. Oh yeah. Dang, and I didn't if I'm okay that, with him being you know? over here, like if I'm not busy, like with the kid, like nine times out of ten, it's whenever I have like the kids in my lap, and he's like, nope, it's my attention time, mm -hmm. you know. Pretty well is what it is, and I'm like, that's not how it and, works. And that's where I would be yeah. wearing this mm -hmm. day in, day out. Okay. And you know, you, you got your middle button, so you don't mm -hmm. even have to really look okay. for it. Everything is the one with the bump on it, and so, oh, yeah. and, and that mm -hmm. will give you the ability to do it. But I'll do the continuous correction on a low level, mm -hmm. so that he realizes that all of the time that I'm touching you, uninvited. <laughs> and that's the key because you can invite him. Up. And then, and then he's free to go. Because, and he'll probably be more than ready. He'll just be like, oh, I can actually come in this time. And then he'll get in there and he'll nuzzle on you. And it'll be all of the loving that you that you want from him. But we want it to, we want it to be a hard, a hard, fast rule that the, the affection that he gets from you is by invitation only. And, and now that puts the responsibility on us to make sure that he gets all the affection oh, yeah. that he needs because he does oh need yeah he gets a lot of I mean, <laughs> probably I, I, a little bit too much i don't i don't doubt that but <laughs> so that that's going to be you the big thing from for you in the meantime no thank you um th that's going to be the big thing in the meantime is, is we make sure that the affection is by invitation you can come sit next to me mm -hmm. you can come lay down close oh, yeah. to me mm -hmm. that all of that's fine don't get on me yeah. don't touch me because in, in the animal kingdom, the alpha can touch the beta, the beta cannot touch him back. Mm -hmm. And so if he feels like he can come over there and be like, ah! yeah. Yeah. you know, it's just like when guys are coming around and somebody comes over, you know, we come over there and we pat each other in the back or, you know, or locker room butt slaps and all that stupid stuff that we do as men yeah. and everything. The one that doesn't, the one that doesn't answer back is announcing the fact that they're, like they're not. They're not dominant. And all this stuff, men do it instinctively because we're dogs. You know, <laughs> we're animals. My dad you know? tried to do that to me, though. Right. And, I've had that know, happen. people in the back rubbing somebody's head. You go take your buddy and you rub his head. And everything. It's just me saying that, hey, I can do whatever I want with you. Yeah. And, and, and so animals do exactly that. And that's the way they feel about it. But in a pack, your alpha can come over. And if they come over and touch you, you need to move away. Yeah. Because you're not allowed to touch back. And if you touch back, then the alpha hurts you. Mm -hmm. You know, because those are just the, the, the rules. And they're not like, they're not like pack rules for this pack. They're like programmed in the brain to every dog. It's like they just all understand that if I can touch you and you don't do anything about it, then that makes them more dominant. You know? So now invitation's different. Yeah. You know, if I say moose, wow, moose, hey, come here, buddy. Come here, see. Oh yeah, no, if I call him over, I'm totally cool with, good with him being all crawly and excited because I invited him. Mm -hmm. I'm totally cool with it. It's, you know, it's me. Oh yeah, I would, but make, it's, I would make time for it. Oh yeah, and, and we do, especially when the kids are in bed at night. That's our that's our prime time of all the cuddles, like whenever they're in bed in the morning, if they're napping or if they're not. That's, that's our prime. It's time. almost as if he gets up and goes to work for the day and then at the end of the yeah. day he gets to relax and, yeah. and enjoy kind himself. Of, yeah. But we get Perfect. like a good hour plus of just like love and attention. He gets his brushing, his oh loving, whatever. And yeah. and then yeah. he gets to just kind of pass out on mommy and have cuddle time, whatever. And then he goes to his kennel. You know what I mean? Like, so he definitely so you gets can the time. You can enforce you can enforce the same thing. So that'd be the same thing that that'd be the same thing for you. Is wow. he, he can come over and sit gentle, you know, sit quietly next to you. But unless you invite him, then 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 try not to try not to give him any any sort of affection. So that way he that way he gets to learn. And now whenever you're ready, you invite. I mean, so you, you see that he wants it. You still stand your ground on it. Like you can't tell me I'm going to pat you. But then as soon as you know that that's what he wants and he gives you the respect, then you invite him up no. and you pat him just the same. Huh? Right, right. No, Josh sits over there right. in the recliner and he's like, Ooh, I didn't do a lap. And Josh could tell him no ten times and he's like, No, no. <laughs> I no, will touch you. You want to do that? I want to see what he's, what he's doing. And, and so this would be the same thing that you can do. Is you're just going to, unless he's, unless he's, but I got to touch him. Moves. Unless, unless Josh is inviting moves. Then, so, 
Good boy. I can live with all of that. What he's doing. And then if he does, I'll voluntarily pet him anyway for coming in. If he comes in and sits politely next to me, I will give him affection just by proxy because it's easy. It's not offensive. And he gave me the opportunity. He gave me the opportunity, but he did. He wasn't rude about it. Mm -hmm. I'll let that happen all day long, every day. Yeah. As soon as he gets to touching me, you know, to coming in and pushing in on me and saying, hey, I'm going to get in your space. <laughs> yes. That right there. <laughs> nope. <coughs> and I'll, I'll just go ahead and give the correction. And then as soon as he stops, I can, I can, add, I can add the reward back in or I can not. It's my decision. Mm -hmm. And don't feel like you need to add the reward back in unless you, he just doesn't understand that he's done the right thing. And then mm -hmm. in that case, it's no. So, See, normally right now... If, if, if Axel was in his lap, especially, he would be like, I belong here. You know what I mean? My like, space! Yeah, and I, I mean, like, for a period of time, I'll give it, like, two or three days, where okay. I just wear this thing around my neck, and we, I, I would, that would be my, that would be my task for the week, for the week or something like that. My task for the day is the dog is not allowed to go to any of the adults, specifically the adults, and put himself on them. The kids, there's no consequence for that. So, if so, they, that might actually have a have a secondary benefit of it will encourage the dog to be more go get his affection from the kids oh, yeah. more so, and not from the adults uh, unless the adults have called them over, and then it's like, holy cow, thank God, it's time. You know, um, you know it's finally time. For Come here. Come um, real quickly, can we take a pause real quick? Um, we've got nine minutes until we hit our, so okay. if, if we don't want to use that yeah. much data, we might start, maybe start. I'm not worried about it. I deleted a whole bunch of stuff. Before we okay, never mind then. Oh. Ruin my kill. This is my wedding kill. I gotta get some more. Decided, we need to find Axel to... some. We need to find little ones, because Axel really likes them. Mm -hmm. Like, Alexi has a little, you know, uh, plaid skirt. And I'm like, I need to find you some kilts because obviously it's your thing. Like, yeah. you know? Oh, it's, but it's super cute. I, I love it. it, it uh, honestly, I'm, I'm over pants. Yeah. <laughs> so much, so much nicer. So, yeah, and that'll be one of those things that, uh, like, whenever he thinks that I'm not sitting here watching him, do the same thing and literally make it a one to one ratio. When you come over, at the moment that you put yourself on them, the very instant that you put yourself on them, ready with the correction and hold it until he backs off. The instant that he backs off, and then that connection will become very, very clear. Like, he'll be like, no, this is only while I'm touching you. And then he'll get invited at some point in time, and then it won't happen then. And he'll figure he'll figure out the rule, because it's a perfectly reasonable rule. I can't do this unless I'm invited. It's something dogs absolutely don't understand. Super, like, completely fine. And so we just make the action consequence you know, the reward consequence pattern to match and to match what it is that there is, there is a, sometimes I touch them and I get corrected immediately and consistently. Sometimes I touch them and it doesn't happen at all. And how do I figure out what, what the difference is? The difference is, is I, I ask, you know, I ask for it, you know, like, and then, and then he'll be like, oh, okay. So I just need to be invited. And it, it'll happen like that. And it won't take It'll take honestly it'll take a day but mm -hmm. plan for a week that way and just say hey whenever i get up in the morning this thing is on uh, as long as his collar's on, no, on all day. i wonder if the reason why he's been struggling is because we've been kind of pulling further and further because i remember you had said to try and cut back on it which, which we have to, you know what i mean but i wonder if i cut back too much yeah. and that's the reason why he's like yeah so what yeah it, it seems to me like that's what's gonna that's what's happening with him is uh, we need to find the balance point yeah um just because we've gotten on, I mean, we're using it all the time. Oh yeah. We, we don't we don't need to be using it constantly. Um, we need to be using it for avoidance corrections on things that we absolutely need him to stop doing, and we can do that as much as is necessary. But they need to be properly timed, and they need to be directly related to a specific type of action, and be done consistently. And then after that, you'll find that you don't even have anything you need to correct it for. And then he gets to it. And then he falls into that category of like, oh yeah, I got this thing on. But I know how to keep it from going off. So therefore, I just behave that way. Um, can I give him his pig? Hmm? No. Okay. Not right now. Okay. Oh, just curious. Yeah,
Yeah, I need to get a new one for us. Those these straps are on. You can get them online. Um, oh, okay. and they're and they're nice and cheap. I think they're like ten bucks. Oh, okay, something cool. like that. Uh, that one's. There's a possibility. The funny, I might have extra. The funny that. thing is, the reason for why that happened is because whenever we were using it more constant, it Alexia knows how to take it off. Yeah. So she had taken it off, and he tried to chew through the collar. I'm assuming he thought if he chewed through the collar, it wouldn't go back on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, he's a smart dog. He's a he's a very very smart dog. He knows how to. You can help wipe uh-huh. his head. Oh yeah. That's smart right there. The, if if the, if their if their head is really wide in the back, like his is as well, mm-hmm. that's all nose and instinct. And if they're wide in the front, behind, right behind the eyes, that's prefrontal cortex problem solving. And so hey, people, hey, hey, what's he doing? Huh? You want to take one of those and wipe your face with it? Yeah, too much. <laughs> Um, yeah, so all those things that that'd be my prescription from here on. I would make I would make yourself like I said, one, two, three minutes. Don't care. But do you know, do your sits and downs and climbs and all the stuff that we've always done and your walks. Mm-hmm. Um, if you need to have somebody tie tethered to him in order for that to happen, that's fine. Mm-hmm. But make a short burst of hey, we're doing work for a few minutes. And, and let that happen at least once a day just to keep everything sharp. And then in the meantime, you might also sprinkle in another session later on of, I'm going to tell you to lay down. I'm going to tell you to lay down and I'm going to enforce the, the staying of the back. You know, but then for, the rest, for most of the day, you're, for the most of the day, you're not gonna you're you're not gonna require too much of him because he's just kind of nannying. Uh huh. Yeah. For the rest of the day, because if if he's on the job twenty four seven, which he can be, my dog Stitch was for the first six or seven months of his life. Free. Free. But and, and so they they can acclimate to it, but with as big a job as he has to do, that's. You know, we're not, we're, we're, hey, 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 It's a banana, not an apple. <laughs> banana. Yeah. Mm-hmm. To chill out and, and, have, and have, a, have, a, have a somewhat, have somewhat relaxing days. And especially because he doesn't really get a day off. Oh, yeah. You know, like he's kind of, he's kind of on the job all the time. Which is going to be good for you guys in the long run. Oh, yeah. So. Have a kiss. kiss. Now, I think that uh, kiss. Kiss. the next time you come by, I think no. Have, like, no kisses. No. No. I think I'm going to um, have some kind of meal set up or something. Okay. So that way we can work on the being at the table thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, if, that, if you're okay with that. Yeah. You know, um, especially with the kids and stuff. So that way, whenever we do start. Whenever he does start going with us constantly, if we do stop for somewhere to eat, I want him to be able to. Yeah, I mean, that's super you simple. Know, it's just. Handle. Well, see, he won't do it for us, period. So that's just why I said what, next time. What is, what is he doing? Um, He just won't sit down, period. He's just more. He's more interested in the food that he is the shock, the pull, or the tug. Okay. Like, you can turn it up, and he's like, I don't care, I'm eating it. You know what I mean? Like, right. he will literally go up and try to eat whatever's on the. So, so like I said, next so, time you're here, I think so, that's something you might yeah. try and cover. If that's okay. If you want to try it in anything- and then step on <coughs> you know and let him and, and let him fuss with it and then as soon as and then as soon as he does lay down here's the trick reward him with the table food okay that's I mean, like that's the <laughs> thing is people are like oh I don't get my double table scraps because I don't want to beg it's like no require still behavior Perfect and then behavior reward them for... and then reward them with the table scraps okay you know and it doesn't have to be anything fancy and make sure that we you know have a good idea of what those are toxic yeah. dogs and what aren't but um most cooked food oh, yeah. you know like that most of the stuff that's real real toxic to dogs is toxic when it's raw like potatoes uh-huh. potatoes are toxic to dogs when they're raw but once they're cooked they're not <clears> because thanks that. to the children he enjoys french fries right <laughs> right as long as, it, long as it's cooked <laughs> Um, yeah, no, he fried, cooked, thing. whatever. Speaking of which, I did see some curly fries out in the yard, actually. Well, you know what? So, oh, yeah. that was probably Joshua so, tossing stuff. But yes, out. we will definitely we'll definitely go through that with me here 
walking you through it because okay. um, that, that's, and I that's, know the that's first the time that part. we do actually take him somewhere, <laughs> if you could be with us that one time, you know what to, I mean? To eat? Yeah. Sure, yeah. Um, you, you know, just to, because in home is one thing, but going where everyone else is, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, right. you know. And it's just an emotional matter of fact. Yeah. It's just like, no, I'm going to have his e on. Mm -hmm. I am going to have his pinch collar on gold. He's going to have his vest on, which mm -hmm. will also put him in that position where he's like, Okay. Oh yeah, it's he knows to time. act a certain and, way. Uh, yeah. And then we will get there and he'll go right by somebody's foot. Mm -hmm. Whoever whoever wants to be in charge of it. And they will have they will have that much leash. Okay. Stepped on. And he will he'll he'll fuss a little bit. Mm -hmm. And we'll we'll practice here first. Mm -hmm. yep. Learn the process, learn it where in the comfortable place. <laughs> then, then by the time we go out, we, he's not gonna be fussing in front of mm -hmm. people in, in public. Yeah. And so you're just going to let him fight and you're not gonna have any pity for him. And okay. then he'll figure out that the only way that this gets better is by quitting fighting. And then whenever he does, you might bring him down a uh, you know, whatever whatever a piece of meat. Yeah, a little green bean or something <laughs> yeah. like that. And then he'll go, Oh, Oh, yeah, that's how I get it. Is yeah. I lay down and be still, and I actually get the food, and then he'll be in. Yeah. Do this number for the rest of the time, and 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 so it's just cause and effect. If you have something that he wants, and he, you want something from him, you create a direct exchange for it, and then you help him figure out. You help him accidentally do it right first. Yeah. Then you reward him, even though he didn't know what he was doing right. <coughs> and then he gets the opportunity to figure out what he's doing. Okay. And then we'll, and then we'll, but we'll go through that and actually, actually walk you guys through it, because. Uh, we need because him to be a good boy. Me, most needs to learn. He needs to learn table manners. That's mm -hmm. right. He needs to learn table manners. Mm -hmm. How's your toe? Yeah, oh he hasn't been chewing on him. We bought a Dremel, the same one you had, so that yeah. way whenever you don't have to worry about, you know what I mean, using yours and stuff. Yeah. But um, oh, and that way we can also oh, learn how to yeah. learn how to do it, you yeah. know, because like we're still anti-Paul, like we're still like here. I'll show you how he is. Like he does wonderful for you in comparison. Like I know it seems seemed aggressive last time, but he does great for you. Down, no, down. Okay. Okay. Nope. Yes. Down. So. No. Down. Okay. Down. Don't what? Don't ever let him pull his paw out. Oh, okay. So, so when you grab Maybe a hold of it, when, when you grab a hold of it, no matter what it is, I'm gonna. No. Nope. Okay, he'll bite me. Nope. That's that's my problem. That's where I struggle nope. at because I don't want his teeth to bite me. Right. And maybe yeah. it's my own stupidity for being yeah. fearful of it, but he yeah. does bite through fear. Okay. So that's, well, well, I mean, that's, that's where my struggle is. That's just why I'm like really nervous. Right. And maybe it's my fault for being nervous. Uh, I, and, I mean? and I agree that he's communicating. But so if we lose it, one goes to leash. And we start, we start again. Okay. And, and, and we'll, we'll go and do this whole thing Because again. we can't call you every yeah. single time to, you know what I mean, to come well, through his nails I mean, for the rest for, of his for, life. For, for, a while, yeah. for a while, I can be the only one that does it. Yeah. That's perfectly what? fine. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this, and then I've got the foot on the leash. Good mm boy. -hmm. Then he, he lets me have it, then I quit. Yeah. Then I don't hang on to it forever. Mm -hmm. But... But I, I was I was just trying to look at him the other day to be I like, do I have to talk about you know to move about dribbling these again? You know what I mean? Because we had talked about you doing it for now. Yeah. Um, That's but right. even I don't, then, and he, I would he, much, he was like, Ugh. I was yeah. like, hey. I would much rather. Like I'm not fearful of anything of him, but messing with his toes kind of, yeah. and I'm I'm a little. Just, did you see once I put the collar <laughs> yeah. on? He's letting me do it, and then okay. whee, I'm right. And then so some of the time. Do all these exercises okay. without we'll actually cutting. Exercises. Yeah, yeah. And, okay. and so so we'll go go leash first, and and don't like sternly down or okay. anything like that. Just get the leash, put it in the position to where if he goes for your hand, you, it'll it'll mm -hmm. his the leash will stop him first. And you see he turns away. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. If he if mm -hmm. he he's, he goes into avoidance. Yeah, fine. Yeah. Whatever. Why and if, because if he, because if he goes to strike, and that's why I, whenever I do it, I pull the hand way out here. Because if he goes to strike, he hits the end of the leash. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so the same same thing as is in the videos and everything like that. Yeah. And then so we do that, and then we can actually even add rewards to that situation. Okay. That's where a lot of times people. That's one of the only good things about teaching a dog to shake for a treat, is it gets Ooh, them very. Oh. No. Oh. 
No, no, no. It's, it's hard. It's, it's, hard. Not, it's, it's not about. It's not about like me apologizing oh, okay. to you. It's just that 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 a hundred percent. If I if we can get the closer we can get it to, like if I go over and lay on, you know, because like if I if I grab his foot, and then he goes over and lay on. You know, see, that's why we can let that happen. But if he goes over there and backs up and clumps on you and yeah. says, mommy, 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 yeah. you know, then that we don't want that because that's, that's him, it's him using you essentially. Oh yeah. You know, so be good for him. And then you get plenty of reward after mm -hmm. Sit. Yeah, I did say on your, on your page one time about how um, you worked with a dog, a big dog, who was kind of mean to his cat siblings. And how oh, you yeah, helped the, them through it? Yeah, that was, yeah that's, um, that was, oh, it was over in Washington. Um, yeah, I'm getting to the point where we've trained so many dogs. Um, oh, yeah. His name was, um, no. Uh, pretty close, uh, I think. But, um, but yeah, yeah but I was going to see husky. if, um, after we, if we have a little bit, if you're okay with it, after we do his actual service dog training and finish that up, if we're still struggling, can we use a few sessions to work on him with the cats? No, we can work on him with the cats. We should do that for sure. Okay. Like, like, we're, we're, don't wait. Because he's getting to where he's better with the other dogs. Don't wait till we're done. Let's let's, oh, okay. let's go ahead and get that. Let's right. go ahead and get that moving now. I mean, there will be a lot of things that we need to abide by strongly. But, okay. Um, other than that. But yeah, he's he's a great doggy brother. He really is. He just has a habit of. The cats move and he chases. Like he never bites them, he never attacks them. He just wants to be with them. He likes to play with them because he came from a home where he was able to play with other cats. Mm -hmm. So he likes to do the whole chase thing. But but yeah, we definitely need him to. He just has a habit of coming in too strong. Right. I think is what the problem is. Yeah. And but, so so what we'll do is we'll set him yeah. up to where we make him do the right thing mm -hmm. at the beginning. Okay. And then, because I think the cats would be willing to be in here with him if he would just chill out. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, I get, I mean, pickles, labradors, and yeah. stuff like that. Which is probably more, more so well. labradors and cleaning dogs and yeah. bird dogs and everything. They're just so happy about life. Yeah. And they're they're happy till it hurts, mm -hmm. and that's uh, that's one of those things. So, um, all right. Well, thank you. Yeah, no problem. I figured I'd ask about it before, you know what I mean? Before just being like, hey, I need yeah. you, <laughs> you know. So I would do knee collar on for <coughs> okay, all, we'll the, way to, all the way okay. to the hours. Whenever they go to bed and he's just with you guys at night. <laughs> oh, oh my no. goodness. Hi, Mooster. Um, then they can be off and charging and stuff like that. But, but um, and so the prong collar doesn't necessarily need to be on. But that one would no. will, will stay on and then if it gets to the point where he's straight up ignoring you and you can't fix him directionally let that be let that go wrong once mm -hmm. and then go get the prong collar put it on it okay. and then make him do it two or three times and then we can go back we can transition slowly back into yeah. taking it off and so you just keep doing that dance back and forth when you don't do it right it goes to more control when you start doing right, we go to less control. And you keep balancing it back and forth. Yeah, um, sure erring that. on the side of more control always. Okay. Like, don't, you don't have to let him, you don't let, have to let him up after three good repetitions. You want to let him up after 50 good repetitions. Okay. You know, 50 consistently good repetitions. Oh yeah, he's a great yeah. dog. He's super sweet. He's super loving. Mm -hmm. He's a typical boy. All right, well, yeah. this is your... Yeah. Um, so I guess that'll probably be good for today. Right. And you've got a couple of things to work on. Yes. Um, and then uh, I'll see about getting this back to you, getting getting you a copy of what, what we got recorded. Um, and the other thing is, is I'm going to be I'm going to be putting the lessons not on YouTube. Yeah. Like not for everybody to see, but it, but but at some point I would like. To I actually looked them up on YouTube. They are on YouTube. Uh, well. Some of the things are, but the things that we're doing here going forward is going to be on Patreon. So it'll be a paid subscription that people will have that will have full unedited videos on there. And then everything, anything that would go on to actual social media would be very small. Very small. You know, the, but then then people can go because the people will get to the point where they're just like, oh, we saw you fix it, but there's a lot of editing. 
and yeah. everything. And they're like, we don't believe it. We're like, okay, go, go, yeah. go to the Patreon page, yeah. and you'll be able to you'll be able to watch every lesson that they do in its totality. Mm -hmm. And that that's actually coming soon. So. And then you'll be able to, you know, so as many of these as are recorded, <laughs> you guys can actually go back and watch them. Many times in a yeah. Like forever. Yeah. Um, and then that's good to have visual aids. That way you can kind of see what you're doing and yeah. be like, hmm, that's where I need to fix that. Right. Yeah. You can actually so, even see yourself doing things yeah. wrong. I tell you what, that's, that was a big deal. As soon as I started videotaping myself at all, I was watching myself work and I was just like, you messed oh, up there. Oh, you messed up there too. <laughs> Oh, you messed it up makes there. you critique yourself a little bit. Yeah, and you critique there, yourself sure. a little bit, and you're just like, oh, I bet you that dog was terrified in that moment because you were all yeah. In, yeah. on top of him and everything. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, well, now I can see myself in a little bit different light, and then you can try, you know, and then it helps you get better. So all these things are good. Cool. Um, any other right. questions before we go? No, we're good. That's awesome. all we have. Well, it's great to see you guys. I'm sorry about all of the all of the back and forths in sorry. the last couple Life's weeks. Life's been crazy. Don't well, worry. I mean, I don't, I don't want you guys to. I definitely didn't want you guys to think that you guys gave me a big old check full of money and everything, and then all of a sudden I just start dipping out and not paying. No, that we was, know you're consistent. Yeah. Life is crazy, and buying yeah. a house is crazy. Right. Trust me, yeah. you know. Yeah. Buying a house. Is this, this one has been this was one has been extra did it crazy. go okay for you we're like, in now we're good yeah we're in we, we live there now so awesome. uh, i was gonna ask you if the inspection thing went well so no it went happy. horribly but oh, we got finished it always does no, this was, it, it was it was a, <laughs> whenever you're doing it all on your own it always does it, ru it ruined our life for several days yeah and, and it took the move from this nice comfortable 10-day process to like a one-day process because of <laughs> The, the amount of time that we didn't have I mean it was it was, it was crazy we understand so, that yeah. we moved our entire house in one day with one person helping us and I was like six months pregnant with Axel and high risk so yeah yeah <laughs> that's right I understand right side the inspector I used to work with him way back in the day he was really good